as you all know, the person who was speaking there, James Fitch, his videos I've used before to, to analyze. And he always uses humor in such an intricate way of replying to spam emails. Now, before we move on to the speech analysis, I would like to talk about what humor is, what its type, and why do we need it in our speeches. So let's start with humor. Humor means the feeling, the, the act of being comical, of being funny, of me being entertaining. So that's humor. I just Google searched humor and that's what I got. Because I would never define humor like that. Now the types of humor. There are four types of humor. Self-deprecating, exaggeration, sarcastic, and satirical. Satire, anything you wish to say. So before we go on to what they are, like my own renditions of them, I'd like to say why you need a speech. So I'll give you an example. Good morning, everyone. Hello, I'm going to talk about X, Y, Z. The first reason why you should believe in X, Y, Z is this. Second reason is this. Third reason is this. And as you can see, because of the first, second, and third reason, X, Y, Z is the best. Thank you very much. It doesn't sound, you know, it doesn't sound very attention grabbing. It's just listing an essay and just saying, this is the reason why you should use X, Y, Z. Now, if you had added something like the first reason, and then added a joke there, a little small joke, an anecdote, anything related to the first reason. You know, you're talking about banks, or why you should use e-banking, and then just say a funny story about how you had to wait for two hours physically in a bank. But with e-banking, you just 15 minutes done. You, you can say something like that. Just an example, I'm not taking a dig at any banks. Just a joke, just a joke. We might have bankers here who might get offended. Now, <laughs> so that was one example I gave for speeches. Recently, somebody I know told me, you know, I found out when you're giving speeches, 15 to 20 seconds, you have to grab the attention of the audience. Otherwise, they just wander around in their own world, in their homes, what to cook, in their shops, <coughs> which belt to buy today, where should I go, you know? People just start to wander around. So every 15 to 20 seconds, you have to grab the attention of the audience, saying something ridiculous, making them laugh, anything actually. So this is also an application of humor. By making audience entertained, by not doing the norm, by doing something different, you grab the audience of attention of the audience. So that's also very good use of humor. And in this speech that I'm about to analyze, humor is used more as like a pillar, like a base thing. Like a humor is used all around the speech, not in small bursts, but humor is apparent everywhere. Everything's a joke, most of the time. Now, as I said, the types of speeches. Let's go back to the types of, uh, types of humor. I'm ready. Forgive me. Types of humor. The first humor that I said, self-deprecating. Now, this means using yourself as the part of the joke to make others laugh. That's the way you use self-deprecating humor. And in that speech, the way he used was, <coughs> I can word a very... I can word a very stern email. That was one of them. Another one was, I can I'm not too labor intensive. I want, okay, is, believe it or not, I have things to do in my life. Those are some types of self-deprecating humor in which he shows I am weak and that's the joke. You know, it's a joke. So some ways of saying that is, you know, when I used to be small, this is a joke by me. You know, when I used to be small, I used to think of myself as the best singer ever best thing I had to think of myself in 4th grade, 5th grade. I used to go to the bus from home to school and school to home. And in the bus I'd sing about anything. I'd see the clouds, they're making a ring. Oh, look at the clouds, let's hold our hands together. A singer. You know, that was me. <laughs> so that's what I used to think when I was a kid. But now I'm just a kid. Such a stupid idiot. That's also use of self deprecating humor, even though nobody laughed right now. That was a joke. Now, the second time. <laughs> Now the second type of humor is it exaggeration. Now in exaggeration, you give a mountain for an act. You just say the most ridiculous things. Anything really. So you can say, you know how fat I am? You know, just saying something like that. You know how fat somebody is? That if they went in an elevator for 12 people, they would make the elevator not go up anymore. 
Exaggerated, you know, people laugh usually. <laughs> Again, you didn't laugh, so that was only <laughs> on the third time. <laughs> that was third time, which is sarcasm. Now, sarcasm is a very, it's a bittersweet thing. If you don't use it correctly, you're seen as rude, because sarcasm is saying one thing, but trying to say other things. Somebody gives a speech, you don't like say, wow, that was such a good speech, wow, sarcasm. You, you don't like someone's speech, but you say, no, you don't like someone's speech, but say, oh, that was the worst speech ever. But everybody's clapping and saying good, but you're the only one saying not, that's not good. No, that, this was n not as a joke, but as a way to define sarcasm. If you use it badly, the person who you're saying you will get offended, you will get angry, might even beat you up. So be, be careful. I'm saying be careful when you use sarcasm. And now the last, satirical. No, satirical or satire is used in a way of saying, you know, poking fun of somebody, some organization, just as James Fitch used that. He poked fun of those supermarket ads, of those spam emails, of the emails you can't unsubscribe, of the email system of, as a whole. He was poking fun throughout the whole, his whole speech, saying, ha ha ha, look at that, so bad. The joke that I used about banks, I was poking fun of banks. That's satirical. Self-deprecation, I said, the second one, exaggeration. He exaggerated most of the things, bouncy castles, opening shoes before you go in the bouncy castle. He was exaggerating most of the time. And the last one, sarcasm. Even though he was angry for the spam email, he still said, I can't wait for the market to open. Sarcasm. So he used all forms of humor, <coughs> humor to grab our attention, make us laugh, remember what he said, you know, about how to live even with the bureaucracy of, bureaucracy of life, how to not be hasty when you become angry with people, but rather, be a part of it and make other people laugh. So that was my analysis. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Pratik Arya.